Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this Elizabeth de la Piedra look that I did for Circus Mag. So for this look, I've already prepped my skin. I'm going to leave a link below so you guys can check out my Lush skincare routine. It's honestly so amazing. If you follow me on social, you've heard me talk about it like so many times, but it's honestly that good that I have to tell you guys like multiple times that you need to try this. Your skin's going to be looking amazing. So after I've prepped my skin, we're going to move into foundation. So you guys already know that I've been loving the matte poreless foundation to apply it we're just gonna do a really thin layer with the real technique sponge and it's just dampened a little bit just with water and you just want to do small tapping motions all over your face really softly like you don't have to go ham and like really you know pounce on your face like that just really softly and just add the coverage wherever you need it so her skin is amazing. She's so beautiful. So she doesn't need that much product. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that when I'm building like a dewier look, I always like to use something that's a little more matte all over the skin so that we don't end up looking like a grease ball because you do not want to be looking like a greasy monster. So always make sure that you're blending it down the neck and just very lightly tapping on your foundation. And working on this magazine cover was so fun. It was an all-girl team. Um, so shout out to everyone who made this magical moment happen. I'm gonna leave all their information in the description below so you guys can follow them as well. They're super amazing. You guys are gonna be so inspired by them. Um, okay, so I think I'm at a good spot with my foundation right now. And with anything, the way that I like to do makeup is like, don't ever feel too committed to what you're doing at the moment. Like, even if it doesn't look completely perfect or how you want it to look, it's really important that you like move on and step away from it for a second so that you really let the product like settle into your skin, see what it does, see how it reacts with like your natural, um, you know, chemicals and all that good stuff. So just let it sit. If you need to perfect or refine anything, we can always come back and do that. So underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using my fave, the MAC Prep and Prime um, Highlighter and Light Boost. And I'm just going to be applying very little underneath the eye area and blending it out with the same Real Techniques sponge. And just blend that in. So for the eyes, it's just really, really simple. We did like a really beautiful wash of like yellow with her wardrobe. I thought it was just gonna go really, really good. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever palette and I'm just gonna be dipping my brush into the yellow and then just apply that on my lid. And I really feel like yellow is gonna be a pop in color this spring, this summer. Like it's just a, a really nice way to add a touch of color to your look without feeling like it's too much. And then with a blending brush, you are going to just blend that right into the crease. And isn't it crazy how easy it is to do just this step and it already looks, in my opinion, like so good. Um, so yeah, do that for both your eyes, of course. All right, so once you have placed that, I'm gonna be using the Bretman Times ColourPop eyeshadow palette. And from this palette, I'm gonna be using this yellow color right here, or whatever. I think that name is so cute. So I'm gonna be using that yellow color, and I'm gonna be using the same brush that I used to apply the cream because ain't nobody got time to be washing multiple brushes. That's just way too much, doing the most. And I'm just gonna pack that onto the eye. And when you're packing on shadow, it's best to start little by little and build the coverage. So even though like it doesn't seem like too much right now, as we keep going and adding and building, you're gonna see the color really pop and then that way you don't have a lot of fallout. Okay, 
And then you're gonna go back in with the same fluffy brush that you used to buff everything out and do the same. It's like super simple, super easy. Yo, grandma could do it. Dip back into the yellow and then apply just a little bit underneath your bottom lash line. To kind of tie everything together, marry everything together. Short little strokes. And since you do have some of the shadow on the brush still, it's gonna deposit like the powder kind of in like a cream to powder form and just really tie everything together. And anyone who's new on this channel, thank you guys so much for subscribing. You guys are the best. Don't forget to share with your friends. You want them to look cute too. Perfect. So we're just gonna add a little bit of like an inner corner glow. You guys know that I love that shit. So I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Hustle Baby Mo Money Highlighter Duo and just pop that right into my inner corner for a little bit of a sparkle. Look at that, it just like oh, makes everything so beautiful. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. brow pencil. So I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in a while. So Elizabeth's brows are already like pretty perfect. So we just did a little bit of this brow, a brow pencil. So, and then I'm gonna, of course, tame them with boy brow. And this one's just in the shade black. And you guys know that I like rub, rolling the brush on my hand to get rid of any like excess product. And then going back in and combing that through. So for the cheeks, I'm using the Glossier Cloud Paint. It is my favorite product to use whenever I'm doing like a good cheek moment and Elizabeth loves a good cheek moment. And this color just complements the yellow so beautifully. It makes you look like a baby, like a little angelic baby. So you just wanna apply that all over the apples of your cheeks. <sighs> look how pretty that is, I love it. Before we do the highlight though, I'm gonna curl and apply mascara to my lashes. I'm using the Huge Lash Lick by Glossier. So for the highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Nude Sticks highlighter, and this one is in Illuminati, because you gotta be a little naughty sometimes. And this one has like a baby pink reflect to it which i thought was really pretty so just apply that all over your cheeks for the glow and y'all know i can never judge you for wearing too much cream highlighter because it's a game changer it makes you look brand new brand brand new like a newborn baby Cupid's bow. So for the lip, Elizabeth loves a little bit of the outline, so I'm gonna be using a spice pencil. And just taking it at the Cupid's bow and then a little here. That's it. And kind of smudging that in. And then I'm gonna apply my favorite Smith's lip balm, and this one's in Minted Rose. So good. Y'all need this. Thank God we're at this step because my lips are looking dry. And on top of that, to give it a little something something, I'm gonna do Birthday Cake by Glossier. Cause it has a little bit of like a shimmer to it, which I think makes it look, look really cute. Mmm. This is a flavor minted rose birthday cake. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the globe with your friends.